Welcome back everyone. During the break, we gathered more of your questions about unemployment benefits and how the state's handling these things during the pandemic. We continue our conversation with Richard Lavers, the Deputy Commissioner of New Hampshire Employment Security now. Thanks for being with us again for this block. So we have a question now coming in from Alicia asking, self-employed workers are getting denial letters because the unemployment office is going on whatever their last job was, not the self-employment. This is making them wait weeks for help. Um, so traditionally self-employed workers were not eligible for unemployment. Um, Governor Sununu changed that with his emergency order. That's changed now as well under the federal act. So we're um, configuring our system to take, take into consideration something which traditionally had been denied. We have messages on our homepage that say to alert individuals that you're going to get an initial denial, but hold on, we're going to send you an email, get your net earnings. Self-employed individuals are eligible for benefits under this program. All right, hope you took notes on that one. Michael asks, my stepdaughter is employed by a store that considers itself essential. There is physical contact with customers and they're not being provided pr protective garments. She does not feel comfortable going to work. If she quits, will she be ineligible for unemployment? Um, so we're still waiting for some guidance from the federal legislation from U.S. Department of Labor on that. But what we do know, if someone has a need to separate themselves from employment, to quit employment as a direct result of COVID-19, um, they are eligible for benefits under the federal program. Again, we're still waiting for guidance on that and what those guardrails will be. As soon as we receive that, we'll be disseminated that to the public so people are aware of the limitations on that type of uh, benefit eligibility. All right, Sarah asks, if I made $50 an hour, why am I only getting a $75 payment a week in benefits? I'm self-employed. So for determination of your benefits, we look at your earnings during, for a self-employed individual, it been their earnings during 2019. That amount then determines what your weekly benefit is going to be. Um, that amount is set by state law. So for instance, an individual who earned $41,500 during that year or more would qualify for a state benefit of $427. Um, and then we add the $600 on top of that from the federal legislation. Judy asks, what does UI initial allowed mean? Do I have to respond? Um, so you're going to receive a notification that you are both um, initially eligible based upon that first application that you file. And then we're also going to look to make sure you're monetarily eligible. So we're going to look at your earnings during your base period. And as long as you have adequate earnings, meaning you had $1,400 in each of two quarters during your base period, or if you don't, we then look at eligibility under the federal law. So you're going to be determined eligible based upon the type of situation you find yourself in and then also what your earnings were during that period. All right, a lot of questions and a lot of answers. Thank you so much for your insight. We hope everyone will be patient and we're sending well wishes to everyone.